Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jose Robles, and I am from Mr. Rosales' Period 3 Accelerated English class. And today, I'm here to talk to you about intelligence, or in this case, IQ. Is it a number that you are born with, just a predictor of how intelligent you can be, or is it meaningless in telling anything about a person's intellect? The truth is that IQ is meaningless. It merely represents a trivial test that rates you in a way that limits your potential that you think you have. Dailymail.co.uk agrees that IQ tests are meaningless. If you are not good at them, all it proves is that you are not good at IQ tests. Someone with high intelligence can easily misinterpret many of the questions and fail the IQ test. Thus, having a supposed low IQ, or in other words, dumb. While on the other hand, Someone with low intelligence can easily just guess on most of the questions and pass the IQ test with a high score, thus having a supposed high IQ, or in other words, smart. This is one key flaw that many scientists never considered during this time period. The old IQ test is outdated and useless in today's world. Dailymail.co.uk agrees that traditional IQ tests are too simplistic. According to the research which found that what makes someone intelligent is too complex to boil down to a single exam. Too many people could have received incorrect results from the inferior test, making it quite unreliable. Although this is true, many had to take it since jobs and schools demanded it. This affected many people's lives because some were wrongfully named dumb, low IQ, regardless if they were actually smart. Many researchers believe that instead of using the IQ test, which gives you one overall number at a score, they should grade a person using three categories, short-term memory, reasoning, and a verbal component, because it provides a far more accurate score on questions and ideas that are used in your everyday life. Independent.co.uk claims several different circuits contribute to intelligence, each with its own unique capacity. A person may well be good in one of these areas, but they are just as likely to be bad in the other two. This test is able to show a person what he or she is doing well in or badly in with its information. People are able to attempt to get aid to increase their skills and categories. This new test approximates someone's intelligence in a more fair and accurate manner. Many scientists have asked the same question. What determines intelligence? Independent.co.uk believes that the results from a study that was taken question the validity of controversial studies of intelligence based on IQ tests which were drawn links between intellectual ability to race, gender, and social classes which led to highly contentious claims that some groups of people are inherently less intelligent than other groups. Many could have inherited traits of being less intelligent from their family line or were just born with an abnormality. Many factors can affect one's intelligence. Furthermore, more research must be done to completely understand what causes different intelligence. When put into perspective, the IQ test was a setback and a complete mistake. One's intelligence cannot be measured because it is constantly increasing and changing. People develop a very different ways and it is difficult to determine someone's intelligence with one test if he or she is good at one thing but not the other. The idea of IQ was flawed and caused misinterpretations about people. It is, was useless and meaningless.